Animal alphabet. I can't believe my mind. We're going to have a manga Tsika adventure with three L's. Which three L's am I talking about? Lemurs, letters, and lots of animal friends. <laughs> Come with me on an amazing alphabet adventure. We'll start by signing in. To sign in, we'll type your name, click here. Then click start. If you've signed in before, just click your name from the list below, then click start. That'll start the game from where you left off last time. Come on, let's leap over to Animal Junction. <laughs> Click here to set your skill level. Easy. Medium. Hard. Alright, let's play! Alright, Zabu wants to learn about letters. You can help him by clicking on things in Animal Junction. I can't believe it. We've checked it out and do you know what? There is one animal whose name starts with every letter of the alphabet visiting here today. This could only happen in Animal Junction. Before we start, we need to show you a few things about the game to help you play. To move to another part of Animal Junction, move your mouse to the side of the screen and click on the arrows. And while you're looking around Animal Junction, be sure and click on the things you see. Some of our animal friends are hiding and you never know who you're going to find. When you discover a new creature, you'll get a new page in your Creature Adventure book. The page will tell you cool stuff about the animal you just found. It will also tell you the first letter of the animal's name. You can click here on the book at any time to see what animals you found. You can also click on the book to see what letters you still need to find. When you find all 26 animals, you'll get a special prize. You'll be able to print out a set of flashcards that will help you learn your animal alphabet. Oops, we almost forgot! Some of the animals you click on will have games for you to play. You can change the game to make it a little easier or a little harder by clicking here. Click on number one for an easier level. Click on number two for a medium level. And click on number three for a level that's a little harder. But remember, if you change the level while playing a game, that game will start over. Okay, let's play! B. B is for bear. Wow, what a great animal friend's notebook. You've got a lot of animals here. You can click on the yellow letters at the bottom of the screen to see the animals in your creature notebook. If the letters are not yellow, that means you still need to find the animal in Animal Junction or complete a game to collect that page for your book. You can click here to see a video clip or hear a fun animal fact. When a black bear is born, she's the size of a chipmunk, but then she can grow up to be as tall as Martin or me. Fact! K! K is for Kinkajou! I can't believe my mind! Martin and Chris want to fall in the mud! Can you help them? I'll think of an animal, and you guess how to spell it. Click on the letters at the bottom of the screen to guess a letter. If you guess the whole name, Chris and Martin will fall in the mud. But be careful, if you guess three wrong letters, the mud will dry up and Martin and Chris won't get muddy. Gorilla. K. Whoops, that's not the right letter. Keep at it, you'll get it. P. Oops, wrong letter. Try again, you can do it. Oh! Oh no! The mud's all gone! These are the letters you were looking for. I. Play again! Yes! I can't believe my mind! Martin and Chris want to fall in the mud. Can you help them? I'll think of an animal, and you guess how to spell it. 
click on the letters at the bottom of the screen to guess a letter. If you guess the whole name, Chris and Martin will fall in the mud. But be careful, if you guess three wrong letters, the mud will dry up and Martin and Chris won't get muddy. Donkey! K! Whoa, it's the right letter! Look out, mud! Here I come! Rabbit! I! <laughs> That's right! Oh no, the mud's getting closer! Leopard! A? That's the letter! I can feel the mud now! Gorilla! L! Whoa, it's the right letter! Look out, mud! Here I come! Cheetah! A? That's the letter! I can feel the mud now! You did great! Here's your page for your book! Play again! Nope! When kinkajous were first discovered, scientists thought they were related to lemurs. But they've since found out that kinkajous are really related to coatis and raccoons. Back! for Quokka. Quokka are a very small kind of wallaby. They can go a long time without water. If there is no water to be had, the Quokka will survive on the water already in his body. Back! Z. Z is for zebra. Every zebra has her own stripe pattern, just like every person has her own fingerprint. T. T is for Tenric. A Tenric's body is covered with pointy spines that he uses to protect himself. Tenrics live in Madagascar. Where's Abu's from? Back. O. O is for Owl. O is for Owl. Like my friend Moonface the Barn Owl. Moonface and I are listening to some of our animal friends. Can you help us figure out which of them is hiding behind the leaves? Click here to listen to the animal sound. Then click on the picture of the animal friend you think makes that sound. <laughs> nope, that's not it, but you'll get it this time. Way to go, you got it right. <laughs> Mm, nope, that's not the right animal, but you'll get it next time. I can't believe my mind. That's the right animal. Lion. Sika, you're good at this. Pig. You did great. Here's your page for your book. Play again. Nope. Owls have great night vision and can turn their heads almost all the way around. Back. F. F is for Fennec Fox. Fennec foxes are the smallest type of fox in the world, but they have huge ears. Their ears can be more than six inches high. Back! K! R. R is for rhinoceros. A rhinoceros horn isn't made of bone. It's made of keratin fibers, the same stuff that's in your hair and fingernails. Back! C. C 
is for Chameleon. Mungatsika! It's my friend Shark the Chameleon! The word Chameleon begins with C? Yep, definitely C. Look at all the great pages this shark has for us to color. The pages have pictures of some of my animal friends. Well, you can use the arrows to select your favorite animal friend. Then choose a color from the leaves and click on the picture to color it. I like making my own colors. We well, can do that by clicking here. For a special surprise, click here. Oh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. You can also print the pictures and color them later. The page will print when you click here. And don't forget, you might need a grown-up to make sure your printer is working. F is for Fox. B is for butterfly. S is for squirrel. Z is for Zabumafu. <laughs> hey, that's me! Zabumafu. C is for cow. R is for raccoon. P is for pig. G is for gecko. Is for fox. Back. Back. Chameleons can change their color, but not only to match the place they're hiding in, like most people think. A chameleon's color can also change because of changes in light and temperature, or when he's scared or happy. Back. X. X is for Xenops. Xenops are small birds that are found in South America. They're only five inches long, and they like to build their nests in a hole in a decaying tree. Back! L. L is for lemur. Soon after a baby lemur is born, he'll start riding around on his mother's back as she leaps through the trees. But pretty soon, he'll be leaping around on his own. M is for monkey. Capuchin monkeys got their names because of the little cap of hair on top of their head. See it? It's a different color than the rest of the hair. Back. L. A. A is for armadillo. Armadillos have heavy banded shells that are like armor, but they can float in the water by filling their intestines with air. Back! L. U. U is for Wakari. Wakari are shaggy, furred monkeys that live in South America. They have bald faces and heads that get really red when they get excited. Back! N. N is for Nuthatch. Narchi and I are racing across Sabu Land. Well, you can help me win by unscrambling the word. Just drag the letters and put them in the right order. When you think you've got it right, click on the spinner. If you spelled the word correctly, I'll move the number of spaces highlighted on the spinner. Or if you spell the word wrong, Narchi will move that number of spaces. If I land on the Goobleberry space, I can leap to the other Goobleberry. The first one to the end wins. Donkey. D. O. K. N. E. Y. Oh, close, close. You'll get it next time. I get to move. One, two, three, four. Buffalo. B. U. F. F. 
A L O Manga Tsika, that's it! Let's leap! One, two, three, squirrel! S Q U I R R E L That's right! Move ahead! One, two, great job! We can leap ahead to the next Googleberry space! <laughs> Jaguar! J A G U A R Manga Tsika, that's it! Let's leap! One, two, three, spider! P I D E R Manga Tsika, that's it! Let's leap! One, two, dolphin! D O L P H I N That's right! Move ahead! One, two, three, Gorilla G O R R I L A Not quite right, so keep trying. Moving on! One! Yup, I landed on the Googleberry space. Now, watch me go! Giraffe! G I R A F F E Manga Tsika, that's it! Let's leap! One, two, chicken! C H I C K E N Manga Tsika, that's it! Let's leap! One, two, three, four! Cougar! C O U G A R Manga Tsika, that's it! Let's leap! One, two, we win! Let's race again! You did great! Here's your page for your book! Play again! Nope! The red-breasted nuthatch can hang upside down by his feet while he tries to get insects out of small cracks in trees. Back! D D is for dog. 
People call dogs man's best friend, and they should. Dogs have lived with people for more than 12,000 years. Their closest wild relative is the wolf. Fact! P. P is for penguin. P is for penguin. Like my friends, Splish and Splash, the African penguins. Penguins love to swim and play in cold, icy water. Hey, let's play a game in the icy cold water with my penguin friends. I'll ask you a question about one of my friends. You'll find the answer hidden behind the ice blocks. Oh, bounce the ice cube off the iceberg at the bottom of the screen. When the ice cube bounces up, it'll smash the blocks at the top of the screen. You, you can slide the iceberg back and forth with your mouse to keep the ice cube from falling in the water. When you smash all the blocks, you'll see the answer. Be careful, you can only miss the ice cube three times before you have to start over. What animal is black and white and sprays stink to scare its predators? Great job! I knew you could do it! Most penguins, black-footed penguins, live in a warmer climate. They spend most of the day in the water and cool nights on land. If the penguins aren't able to reach the water, like when they watch over their eggs, they cool off by flapping their flippers, feet, and keeping their beaks open. Back! J? J is for Jaguar! Most cats don't like the water, but jaguars love it! In fact, jaguars are great swimmers, and they'll go into the water to hunt turtles, fish, capybaras, and even crocodiles. Fact! J? S. S is for salamander. Salamanders are amphibians, which means they live part of their lives in the land and part of their lives in the water. Fact! V. V is for vulture. The turkey vulture is a large bird that has a great sense of smell. He can smell his food from a long way off and swoop down from high in the air to get it. Back! Why? Why is for yak? Yaks need a lot of water. During the cold winters, they eat snow to get the water they need. Yaks live high in the mountaintops, where temperatures get to way below freezing. Fact! 
I. I is for iguana. Iguanas, like other reptiles, are cold-blooded. So, they have to sit in warm places to warm up their blood to get themselves going. Back! E. E is for elephant. I can't believe my mind! It's Toothbrush, the baby elephant! Hey, did you know that elephant begins with E? Well, I thought you did. Toothbrush has big ears that help him hear. Hey! Ears starts with the letter E, too. I have an idea. You can help Toothbrush remember the animal songs the creatures are singing. Here's how you do it. Watch and listen as my animal friends make their sounds. And then click on them in the same order to repeat their sounds. <laughs> Mungatsika, it's like a creature concert. Oh, if you miss a pattern three times, well, you can start a new game with our animal friends. If you want to play the game with a different set of animal friends, you just click the reset button here. <laughs> no, I don't think that was right. Oh, you'll get it this time, I know it. my mind. You're great at this game. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. Give it another try. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Whoa! I can't believe my mind. You're great at this game. Gatsiga, you've got great ears! Wow! I can't believe my mind! You're great at this game. You did great. Here's your page for your book. Play again. Nope. Indian elephants spend many hours every day eating. In fact, one elephant can eat more than 500 pounds of grass in a day. That would be like you eating 350 heads of lettuce. Fact. W? W is for wolf. W is for wolf. It's also for my Zabuland friend, Wiggy Waxwing. Wiggy sure loves to eat root noodles. I remember one time in Zabuland, Wiggy was hunting for root noodles. Can you help her find some? Wiggy wants to eat some root noodles, but she only wants to eat certain noodles. Can you figure out which ones she wants to eat? I'll make the sound that two letters make together. You click on the root noodles with the letters that make that sound. To hear the letters again, click on me. To get a hint, click on Bugly. If you can clear the letters five times, Wiggy will wig out. Pl Plate.
Vivi. usually hunt in a pack which is made up of a father, a mother, and a lot of their pups of all different ages. Back! G. G is for gorilla. Hey, look! It's my friend the gorilla. Gorilla begins with G. Well, gorillas are really smart. But I wonder if they can pretend. I want to play a pretending game right now. Can you help me? Well, here's how it works. I'm going to imagine what kind of animal you would get if you could mix together some of my animal friends. I'll tell you what I'm imagining, and you can try to put the pictures together and make that animal. Click on the up and down arrows to change the pictures. Or click here, and I'll say the name of the imaginary animal. Or you can click on me, and I'll tell you about the creature I'm imagining. Once you help me create three imaginary animals, you'll get another page to add to your creature adventure book. Let's pretend. Wow! My pretend animal has the head of a reindeer, the body of a cow, the tail of a horse. That's one strange animal. Let's call him an... Rain. Cow. Horse. My pretend animal has the head of a... Rhinoceros. The body of a... Goat. The tail of a... Horse. Sika, you got the pretend animal. She's a rye goat horse. My pretend animal has the head of a pronghorn, the body of a gorilla, the tail of a bison. The animal I'm thinking of, it's a prong. Real son, you did great. Here's your page for your book. Play again. Nope. When gorillas walk on all fours, their arms are so long, they can swing their whole body forward between them if they want to. Gorillas are really smart too. In fact, some gorillas have been taught sign language. Back. H. H is for horse. 
A is for armadillo. Quit. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes! <laughs>